If you have a partner, which player would you let them sleep with and why? Is that Jerry Maguire? Maybe you, because I feel like you'd be nicer in the bedroom <laughs> to them. To them. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, just shut up. Caveat, he wouldn't. Yeah, he is a dark horse. Oh, what, like whips and chains? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what nah, are you nah, talking nah, about? Nah, nah, What's the so. kinkiest thing you've ever done? I don't. I genuinely don't think I'm that kinky. Right. I just like having good rough sex. That's whack. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I'm kinky. I think that's normal. <laughs> no? Is that not a normal thing to say? <laughs> More on some fifty shades of green. I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> I don't know. No one ever expects shit yeah, from me. Bro. Yes. Very sad. Oh, you're so <laughs> candid, bro. Like you say it like a priest. Like you're just like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's anything yeah. geeky. I just like having good rough sex. <laughs> and that's on God. You're saying it like his missionary. <laughs> that's on God. <laughs> okay. See, bro, I'ma say this, man. I done been into some wild conversations throughout my life, man. And I can honestly say this, man, without a shadow of a doubt. It's usually always the people you least expect who gonna tell you some wild shit that just take you back. Like the fact that I've been watching clips of this. Y'all know I always use their clips, dog. They some cool brothers or whatever. But I never expected him to say no shit like that. <laughs> I would have expected the light-skinned dude to say it before the dark-skinned dude did, bro. <laughs> they can say, I just like having some nice, rough... I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. I just didn't expect him to say no shit like that. <laughs> hey, bro, sometimes you gotta put the leg up on shorty, man. You know, that's it. You know what I'm saying? But just protect yourself at all times, fella. And, and look, with the women... Hey, man, real talk. It's the quiet, calm, reserved ones, man. Them the ones that really be into that shit, man. Listen, y'all better stop kissing them quiet girls, dog. Real talk. Them the ones that be putting toes in their mouth, you know, licking illos, kneecaps, elbows, the devil's mailbox. <laughs> All that kind of stuff, man. Them be the freaks. And y'all be thinking they so innocent and stuff because they quiet. Man, I'm telling you, man, quiet plus glasses. You already know what you in store for, my boy. Do you have kids? Yeah. Same no. I got kids. I can't How many kids, kids you got? Four boys and two girls. Four boys? Two girls. And two girls? Was you scared? And mamas? Three. Alright, it ain't nothing to get I'm not staying. I can't stay. I respect that. But I'll tell you in the car. That's right. I said they're gonna be the question they get me left. Alright, so cool. In the video from earlier today, I told y'all most of the dudes I know don't have no kids, man. And y'all might be like, well, how all these women got kids, but most of the men don't? I'm gonna tell you why. Because the niggas like this. I don't know this brother, no disrespect to him, but I think he just said he got like six kids. I ain't finna go back and listen to it, but it was a lot of kids. It be niggas like this who be the daddies of all these kids running around who are being raised by single mothers, bro. It ain't people like my partner, Emo, Bezo, Peasy. It ain't none of them niggas. It's niggas like this who got all... He ain't saving no baby mamas for nobody. <laughs> he got all the kids. And guess what? He probably still gonna hit them. That's, that's the big one right there. He's still gonna hit. They is not turning down the opportunity to sleep with these dudes, bro. I'm telling you. She was so upset at the fact that he had those kids because she likes what she sees. She likes the presentation. But she knows that there's no real uh, longevity in whatever they can try to do. But this is how they get in trouble. They go against their better judgment. They know damn well that that's a red flag. But guess what's going to happen? Dudes like this got a lot of kids for a reason. They know how to talk. They know how to get a woman juices flowing. They know how to make that Virginia water park flow with all kind of water. Boom. Once he start drilling. Oh, man. Looney Tune, bro. Factory reset. Now she the whatever baby mama. He got a seventh kid with her. That's how it happened every single time. Because when you start breaking off a woman properly, man, ain't no logic no more, man. Women go crazy once you hit the factory reset on them. The factory reset is a button in that Virginia that, like, you touch it, bro. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm telling y'all what I know, bro. I moved to Dubai to become a porta potty. And if you don't know what that is, it's women who come to Dubai and get pooped on for fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah, cause that's exactly how I've been feeling. But anyway, black girl living in Dubai.
life update edition. I know y'all been wondering where have the girl been? And let's just say life was life in the black girl living in Dubai. One thing I love about living in Dubai is it never feel like you need to take a vacation because every day is vacation. Be Say, bro, you know, money is so important to some of these women that they will literally degrade themselves, embarrass themselves to get it. It's crazy, man. You know, at one point in time, this was a somebody's baby girl, bro. It was either her mama baby girl or her daddy baby girl. They held her like this. They rocked her to sleep, changed her dirty diaper. They had high expectations of that child, bro. And then she grew up to become a porta potty, bro. That has to be the ultimate l that you could take as a parent man another l that you could take as a human being is finding out that your girl used to do this you know you meet this woman two three years down the line she checks off a couple of boxes because she's a chameleon and then this video resurfaces she tried to scrub the internet to get it off but you know how the internet is and you find out that she used to get shitted on man literally bro like you can't i hope you ain't married to her at this point because that's gonna be a shitty situation <laughs> no pun intended bro like it's unfortunate that women don't have not i'm not gonna say all of them but a lot of women today because of the nature of social media bro a lot of them don't have the common sense to know that this is gonna follow them for the rest of their life and it's gonna haunt them bro like i wouldn't i don't think if they actually thought about long term that they would do this i don't i don't think that I, i'm not gonna say that they wouldn't go to dubai and get shitted on but I don't think they would put it out there to the world and brag like this is some flex. I don't think they would do that, man. They're short-minded, right? You got to think 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the line, man, as an adult. As a responsible man, you have to be making plays for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, man. So this right here, this is an L for her, man. She said she set a lot of black women back with this one, bro. Because you know when other people see videos like this, this is a representation of everybody. It's just the way it is, bro. One black person do something crazy, and now a lot of people just think all of us do it. I'm telling y'all, man. This is... <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point, bro. All right, so cool. In a video from earlier today, I told y'all, most of the dudes I know don't have no kids, man. And y'all might be like, well, how all these women got kids, but most of the men don't? I'm going to tell you why. Because the niggas like this. I don't know this brother, no disrespect to him, but I think he just said he got like six kids. I ain't finna go back and listen to it, but it was a lot of kids. It be niggas like this who be the daddies of all these kids running around who are being raised by single mothers, bro. It ain't people like my partner, Emo, Bezo, Peasy. It ain't none of them niggas. It's niggas like this who got all... He ain't saving no baby mamas for nobody. <laughs> he got all the kids, and guess what? He probably still gonna hit them. That's, that's the big one right there. He's still gonna hit they is not turning down the opportunity to sleep with these dudes, bro. I'm telling you. She was so upset at the fact that he had those kids because she likes what she sees. She likes the presentation. But she knows that there's no real uh, longevity in whatever they can try to do. But this is how they get in trouble. They go against their better judgment. They know damn well that that's a red flag. But guess what's going to happen? Dudes like this got a lot of kids for a reason. They know how to talk. They know how to get a woman juices flowing. They know how to make that Virginia water park flow with all kind of water. Boom. Once he start drilling. Oh, man. Looney Tune, bro. Factory reset. Now, she the whatever baby mama. He got a seventh kid with her. That's how it happened. Every single time. Because when you start breaking off a woman properly, man, ain't no logic no more, man. Women go crazy once you hit the factory reset on them. The factory reset is a button in that Virginia that, like, you touch it, bro. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm telling y'all what I know, bro. I got a question. Oh, wow. Does anyone have any idea why don't black women hold other black women accountable for the things that they say and do in life? Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Does anybody know why black women don't hold other black women accountable? Does anybody know? Does anybody know why black women don't tell the truth to black women? Does anybody know that? What y'all smoking on? Anybody? Anybody in heaven? Anybody in hell? Anybody know? No? See, the little doodle girl need to be listening to this woman right here, bro. Accountability, man. Y'all got to start holding each other accountable, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Like like the other girl who who was on the fence about messing with the dude with the six kids and stuff like that. Man, another black woman or whatever she is need to pull her to the side, baby. Hey, listen, I see you got reservations. I see you kind of double dutching on this. That ain't a good look. <laughs> Straight up. You know what I'm saying? That'll create balance in the world. Everything will be smooth if that happened. Because guess what? We have checks and balances just like the government. It, within the men's realm, we got checks and balances. Oh, nah, partner, you don't want to deal with her. She'll, mm, yeah, she'll bust down. See her right there? Nah, bro, she got that wild magnolia. See her right there, bro? She crazy. She ain't got over her ex yet. See her right there, bro? She still. <laughs> Niggas got checks and balances, bro. I cannot take that. I can't take no more. I can't take no more. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I'm so sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't be a hero. I can't, I can't say these hoes. Huh? Real player like these hoes. This bitch crazy. Here we go. I'ma say it again, bro. This was somebody child. This was somebody baby. They rocked them. They had high expectations, man, and they failed, man. It is what it is, bro. Like, if this your daughter, bro, like, you can't... There's no bragging rights about a daughter who does this. There's no bragging rights about a man who wipes up this girl. Like, we don't respect you as men because we know that we could probably get her easily. Any woman who don't respect herself like that won't even respect your relationship. That's a fact. She get on camera and do this, man. Shit, boy, a nigga like me or one of my partners could talk her into it. On a good night, uh, we talking her into doing some freaky shit and nigga gonna send her back home to your ass, bro. Real talk. If I was out here, you know, still in my prime and shit. This is all allegedly. <laughs> Question is, can you give me the pros and cons of people not posting their spouse or their significant other or their girlfriend or boyfriend? Okay, bad start, bad start. I would, I, I would think that could be a red flag if he's posting other things that he yeah. values, right? Because that's what a lot of men do. They'll say, okay, my relationship private, but he get that new car, he posting that. He get, you say why? Get that new Rolex, he get that new jewelry, he posting that. New house, he posting Come that. Come on. But you can't post a woman you love more than anything in this world. That's no, no, speak for y'all. It's a problem. <laughs> that's a good... I, I have a question of him. I, I, what is this thing with social media validation, though? Why do we have to post our significant other? Not me. Why is that so important? Because that sounds more like it's external validation from social media. There are people who truly value privacy. I'm one of those people because I'm an autonomous person. Right. So although I love my husband out loud, I think everybody knows it. Anybody who follows me, you know that. I love Los out loud. But to protect my relationship because there are haters, there are women and women that I have worked with who would go for married men because they oh, see yeah. how they love you. So why is it such a problem and why do we have to do it for Shame on you. social media? You know what, man? There's different strokes for different folks. I ain't, you know, to him, that's probably how it go. But to me, I don't think that if a man doesn't post his girl, but he posts, let's say, a Rolex, I don't think that you can compare the two. One is a human being that you love and that you really want a stable relationship with. And if the world finds out who she is, rumors can start. Somebody might deem you, oh, bro, I ain't know that was your girl. Man, she a good girl. Now your ass wonder, what the fuck he meant by that? And he just left you like that. Like, like, and then you hit him back and be like, yo, man, what you mean by that, bro? No answer. Now you didn't. If you never posted her, you would not be losing sleep over that comment, bro. You know what I'm saying? And another thing is this, man. From time to time, like on my story on Instagram, I'll post my son. It's rare. But I'll post them here and there. But I ain't never posting my daughters. Do that mean I love my son more than them? No. It's just that I don't want to hear nothing slick out no nigga or no woman mouth, bro. Because I didn't hear stuff. Oh, man, you better watch her, boy. She going to be cold-blooded when she get older. Blocked. And if I see you in real life, boy, I might sneak you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or the girls would be like, boy, that thing fine, boy. You better, boy, listen, you gonna, you got some trouble on your hand, boy. Nigga, this is my daughter you're talking about. Now, I don't post my daughters for that simple fact. <laughs> Straight like that. And as far as my girl, I'm never going to post her. Probably never. And if I did post her, I'd make sure that I, I just don't know everybody who watches me, bro. I don't know y'all like that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Nigga could have... Nigga could have hit my girl back in the day and, and, and be like, yeah, bro, I used to be busting that up back in the day. Nah, I got to fight you <laughs> for some shit that could have been avoided. You know what I'm saying? Like, say, bro, that's your girl? Oh, man, best head I ever had in my life. Bro, dudes is grimy like that, bro. Y'all dudes be setting y'all self up for the okie dokie, man. But, hey, like I said, man, you know, 20 years ago, 
there was no need for somebody to post you on social media because it didn't exist. And guess what? Everybody was getting along fine. And I think we're going to get along fine just now if we don't post significant others on Instagram and Facebook. Hey, yo, real talk. I used to work at this restaurant, right? And here's the thing. One of my partners, his old lady came through one day and a nigga came out the back and was like, oh, that's such and such old lady? I was like, yeah, that's my dog old lady, bro. He was like, man, in high school, that used to be my little partner, ho. <laughs> hey, I swear to God, he said it's so disrespectful. Niggas like that exist, bro. <laughs> that used to be my partner, ho. He talking about my nigga old lady. <laughs> this shit was funny, but it's not funny. Hey, bro, I'm telling y'all, man, college is where it goes down that, man. If they got a basketball team or a track team, baseball, any it's any sports, bro, women want to be around the dudes that's, that got motion. And in college, the athletes got motion, straight up. Basketball players, you know what I'm saying? They're going to hit your girl in college, dog, especially because they, they just, it just fall in their lap, dog. It really just falls in their lap, man. I knew a lot of college athletes, man. Bro, if you not... If you're not running through women as an athlete in college, you are the lamest dude on earth. It's just no way possible for you not to be running through them in college, man. They go there, they seek athletes out. If you in a fraternity, man, if you play as Greek, bro, you getting buku ass, man. Y'all lit. Those are the entertainers and, and rappers of college, man. Them Q-Dogs, Kappas, man, baseball players, football players. Basketball players, man, them dudes is smashing all the fine girls on campus, bro. They get first dibs on everything, and everybody else get the leftovers. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but, dog, if your girl went to college, man, listen, bro. Real talk, man. Google the niggas who played basketball and football at her school at the time she was there, and I bet you she friends with them niggas on there, bro. And if she friends with them, chances are she done did something with them, or they tried to get at her. I promise you that, man. If your girl went to LSU and graduated in 2012, dog, go look up the 20, uh, 2008 through 2012 roster, bro, and start going through the line. And I bet you any money that she got some of them niggas as friends on there. And you know what that mean, dog? Nigga probably had your girl. Then just ask her. Say, bro, you know such and such? Why you bringing him up? <laughs> I, I lost my virginity late, though. Too late. Hey, well, what's late to you? You were early. Uh, what summer eighth grade, going to the ninth. That's early as shit. Bro. Not to my homies. Eighth grade. <laughs> fucking That's seven, early grade. as hell. Bro. How old is eight? Y'all That's 13, 12, 13. 13? 12, 13. 13? I think 16, yeah. something like that. Like high school. Yeah, I was like 17, yeah. bro. Damn. You getting it old? Getting. I'm getting it. But that's like normal. Is that, is that average white the boy? Normal, like, yeah, the normal that's what like, white boy story is like prom night or yeah, homecoming facts. or like some shit like that. Yeah. Nah, I was, I was like, yeah, school, yeah. Nah, but I was 17. It all depends on to me, <laughs> to me, I I wasn't one of them early. It, it took me a while to whip my shit out in front of bitches. Was you scared? But Why? Did, what do you I mean? don't know. That comes from you, a lot of saying, They didn't even know what you had. It took me a while to find a hole. <laughs> I struggled with that a lot though. The hole find when I lost my virginity. Like just finding it. Damn. The whole I, did, I think it was hard. Very. We all struggle with that. Nah, that I never struggled time, with that. Bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. The whole fine so. was hard, bro. You just, just rub that bitch around. Now you just somewhere. know from just years of autopilot. All right, so check this out. I want to make this a short story time and a teaching moment, right? So, boom. I lost my V card, if that's what you want to call it. Virginity broke my virgin. That's how they say it in New Orleans when I was very young, bro. Like, I was really young. Like, for real. And my little brother was even younger. And my older brother, we pretty much all lost our shit around the same time to the same girl, bro, like on some real sloppy seconds type of shit. And the thing is this, right? I was young, so my brother is two years younger than me, and my older brother is a year older than me. So we, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we wildin'. Uh, but the thing is this. The reason why I say it's a story time, because it was a girl that lived in the neighborhood, and she was a thought. It, it is what it is. So I got older cousins who live next door to me. Right, we live in a cul-de-sac. We in apartments, man. You know what I'm saying? So, by hanging out with older kids and stuff like that, like the cousin I'm thinking about right now, he was six years older than me, and we was like this. We was always together, and he was always doing it with this girl. And one day when we was outside, he just asked her, like, "Man, give my little cousin some coochie," <laughs> straight like that. Now, by me hanging out with the dude, I'm already knowing what it is. I'm advanced at this point, bro. Like, these niggas is wild, bro. Like, it ain't really much to do in Jackson, Mississippi, bro. So, niggas is getting, they, they, they smashing early, right? 
so he talked the girl into giving it to me or whatever. And the reason why I said it's going to be a, a teaching moment is because, dog, when you have boys or daughters, man, y'all got to be um, careful about the cousins and the family members that you let them hang out with as a young at a young age. Because if you have a cousin that's six years older than you, bro, you're going to pick up some bad habits, especially if y'all living in the, you know, come on, man, let's, let's just call it spade a spade, man. Like, like it, it, it's a little it's a little toe up in the hood, kind of, you know, and. They got different levels to hood, but man, you know, I'm going to just say the neighborhood because it wasn't a bad place, but it wasn't good either. But what I'm going to say is this, man. Anything could have happened when I smashed that girl, bro. I could have called an STD because I didn't even know to put a rub on, right? I'm just, I'm, I want to do it. Like, don't get it twisted. I wasn't coerced to do it. I wanted to do it, but I didn't understand what was going on, bro. Like, she was literally the biggest thought that you could think of. And I went in. <laughs> Thank God I ain't catch nothing. You get what I'm saying? Like, for real, bro. And that's why I told y'all this, man. If y'all got sons, bro, be careful about letting them hang out with their cousins that's four, six, eight, ten years older than them. If y'all got daughters, man, the aunties and the older girls that they be around, bro, y'all got to be careful because they're going to learn some stuff that they shouldn't be learning at that early of an age.